So, uh, doesn't look like anyone's jumped in yet. All right, give it a minute. Hey, what's up? Gnome Pro. What's up, my man? Alright, so you're probably wondering why you're uh, staring at uh, an ottoman and uh, two uh, janky ass looking boxes. I'm doing good, man. Thanks for popping in so quick. I, I really appreciate it. Um, but, uh, but yeah, how are you doing? I'll just ask you real quick, how are you doing? <laughs> but uh yeah so cool cool yeah i know you you have that weekend schedule so but yeah thanks for being here man appreciate the support so ready for a nap <laughs> well maybe i'll put you to sleep with this one um but i, I had been thinking about uh how i could like kind of get get the kind of get the beer more involved with um sort of with my brand and and my um my whole streaming persona because i am pretty big on beer and uh, you know lately and everything and i i just want to integrate it more into my kind of my streamer stuff yeah right that's that that's kind of my gimmick right so um that's or at least that's what i'm trying to get going so Anyway, I had this idea to just do like an unboxing, just kind of show off some of the stuff I get. So, just to give a little background, um, I mean, I, I guess, I don't know if you want to just stare at this or, I don't know if I want to show my face, like I'm pretty janky right now, but just showing my, one of my old streams here, but like, so, my wife, God bless her heart, she, she gets me she orders me a beer shipments. She'll just, you know, through Tavour, Tavour, whatever it's called. She'll, um, she'll pick out stuff that she, you know, thinks I'll like. And then she, and then like, it'll build up over the course of a couple weeks. And then when it gets big enough, they'll, they'll ship it over to me. And, you know, so I, I get all this like crazy craft beer, like periodically just from stuff that she orders from me. And I have kind of a backlog. Yo, Chris, uh, hey. What's up? What's up? Just doing a little IRL thing. So, like I was explaining to Gnome Pro, just um, just basically doing a beer unboxing. You know, I, I've told you about the ship, the beer shipments that, I've, that I get, that my wife gets for me. So, I just thought I'd show some of them off. Just, uh, you know, just go through what I have right now and just, uh, I don't know, see if people are interested in seeing this kind of thing. I dig this starting soon for sure, like that you had it, yeah. <laughs> so anyway, I'm, I'm just going to get started now, because I've been delaying long enough. So, let's, let's see here. So, this first box, this first box is stuff I've already had. Um, I've, uh, this, this isn't the most recent shipment. So, but I'll just start pulling things out here. So... I've already had one of these, so, okay. None of your business peanut butter stout by Armory, Armory Brewing, Grand Armory Brewing. So, I've already, yeah, these are pretty random. Yeah, they're just, I mean, they're, they're stuff that, like, you know, they're generally stouts and porters and sours and stuff that my, my wife knows I like. Um, yeah, it's a mystery to me, like, but, but wifey picked them out. So, but she knows what's coming. I don't know what's coming. They're they're all different sizes. Um, but yeah, so I've had this beer. I had this beer on tap back in Michigan when I visited my sister and her family, one of my older sister, and I liked it so much. When I saw, um, when my wife told me it was available, I was like, oh yeah, let's get a bunch of them. So I got like six of them. So I've already I've already had one. It's 
it's unfortunately it's not as good out of the can as it was on tap, but still damn good. So I don't regret it at all. But uh, it's gonna be tough getting stuff out of here with one hand. Sorry if I'm making you all sick. So this is just another of the same one. But uh, he is Andre the Giant. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, tab's usually better. But here's, I guess, the brewery's Hoppin' Frog. Peanut butter, hazelnut, caramel, chocolate, cake, stout with natural flavors. Oh, I didn't read that on the other one. So this one says 8.0 percent alcohol by volume so that's that sounds like a good one i forget what this one was uh what the percentage on this one was five percent this the nut of your business was five percent andre voice anybody want a peanut <laughs> Did I mute? Shouldn't be muted. Good now? I don't know what happened there. That's weird. But, um, so I don't know. So I was just explaining. I don't know what's the last thing you heard, but, um, I was saying that when it sounds like a, a really good one, wifey will usually get me duplicates. So, so that's why I have two of those cake stout ones. I, there's a lot of duplicates here. What up, Plop Dumps? Yeah, I'm just doing a beer unboxing, man. Thanks for being here. You guys are champs. Like, I can't believe you guys are all showing up for this. Plop, plop. Um, so if any of you are familiar with uh, the Big Lebowski, this is obviously a reference to that. It's a white Russian milk stout. My favorite, you know kind of mixed cocktail or whatever is a white Russian. I love white Russians and I love this movie. So I uh, had to get this. We obviously got multiples of this one as well. It's by new image brewing and what's the percentage? 10 and a half percent alcohol by volume. A lot of these are pretty heavy hitters just because like a lot, just stouts tend to be that way. Let's see what else. We, oh, so that's another none of your business. The rug really tied the room together. Here is Boulevard Brewing, Kansas City, Missouri. Kansas City, Missouri. Easy for me to say. Uh, more s'more. Barrel aged imperial stout with natural flavors. Limited release. Limited release. And it always makes you feel like, oh, I gotta get that. I gotta get that. It's limited. Uh, Eighteen or eleven point eight percent alcohol by volume. Eighteen percent would be kind of insane. Um, but not unheard of. More s'more. I want to try them all. I know, right? That's why wifey gets me all these things. Please let me know if this is like disorienting or whatever, how I'm doing this. I, this is, it's really janky this first time because, you know, I'm not set up for this. Like I'm just holding the phone in my hand. So, uh, hopefully if you guys like this and I do more of these, then it'll, um, I'll find a setup that's like smoother and something to free up my hands and everything. Uh, we'll ask if you ever got any from New Orleans. We got like 200 breweries. Uh, I don't know if any of them are from New Orleans. I mean, we'll see. We're, we're going to go through all these, but uh, let's see. Listerman Brewing Company. Don't lay a finger, which is of course a reference to the Simpsons commercial, the butter Butterfinger commercials. Pastry Stout. I don't think I've tried one of these yet. What's, what's it? What's I can put whatever I want in beer, just like the Simpsons intro there. Classic. What do we got here? Where's the? 
you all see the percentage? Oh, did I, uh, oh, there it is. Ten. Ten flat. I'm trying not to show the rest of the room because it's a hellscape right now. Um, dissolver? Let's, oh, sorry. What would you guys say? Oh, yeah, and get a cheap tripod and, and you good, but it's good for my first day. <laughs> Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Dissolver in collaboration with Coven Brewing presents Fill Thy Frenchy Toast Hole. Coconut French Toast Cake Stout. Now, I don't even really like coconut because I don't like the texture, but of course you don't get texture, and at least not that kind of texture in beer. So I like the taste. I just don't, you know, like German chocolate cake. I'm not like a big fan of it because I don't like the crunchy pencil shaving feeling or whatever of coconut, but 8.3%. Not bad. Not not too strong. I'm just stacking them up over there right now. I've never had a cake-flavored beer seem so good. Yeah, uh, so all these just seem like breakfast and dessert. Yeah, pretty much. I know. It's like, is this beer? Does this qualify as beer? Oh, it's, oh it's, and now that you mention it, 903 Brewers, candy bar-flavored stout, and the logo is obviously reminiscent of... Um, a Snickers bar, chocolate, almond, nougat flavored, and caramel flavored stout, malt beverage with national fla natural flavors, candy bar flavored stout, eight and a half percent. But as you as you alluded to earlier, Chris, uh, different shapes and sizes. I got bottles, cans, clap your hands, uh, all kinds of different stuff. Wiley Roots Brewing Company, extra pair of gloves. This this whole time. So, if, I'm sure some of you, let's, I want to read what you guys are saying. I've seen people smoke weed and drink on stream, but that might be a thing you want to gimmick. Oh, can you drink and rate on t Twitch? Yeah, I know, I, I, I've thought about doing that, but I mean, yeah, I don't know how I would do that, because I have such, like, how many, <laughs> I only drink, like, you know, one or two beers a night, usually, so... I don't know if it would be that interesting. Um, that one's mine. <laughs> Wifey's in the other room in in the in the chat. It's great. Yeah, yeah. She she had to pick this one because this is a this is a Dumb and Dumber reference. If if you don't know, you had an extra pair of gloves this whole time. This whole time. Keep keep cold. Enjoy fresh. Oh, was it say? Imperial Start Stout with peanut butter, marshmallow, chocolate, milk, sugar, natural, and artificial flavors. All kinds of yummy stuff, right? 10.2% alcohol by volume. I mean, Wifey picks winners. That's all she does. All she does is pick winners. Ugh. I'm not going to go. can't get my fat hand out of the stupid. There's another nut of your business, so I'll just put that over there. What else we got here? I think this is going to last longer than I thought. Oh, here's another uh, Don't Lay a Finger. It's actually taking me longer than I thought to get through these, so this will be a nice, decent length stream, I guess. Girthy, as uh, no one would call it. Fill thy Frenchy Toast Hole, that's another one. So another, another dupe that wifey grabbed. Let's see, ah, wifey, yeah. Oh, yeah. Get to know, get to know each other. I mean, you can drink one or two and play Psychonauts at the end, so I give this a four to five, two to five. Yeah, that's a good point. That's a good point. I like that. Could be rad. Don't mean to talk shop. No, no, I, I like the ideas. I like the ideas. That's a big box of it. Yeah. No, no, no. The, it's only two boxes, honey. It's only two boxes. The, the third one's empty. I, I consolidated uh, two of the boxes into one, so it it is still a lot, but yeah. You know we you know I had to get this one had to represent as I don't know if you guys have noticed in my tags, but I I I put the Mexican American tag in there. You know I'm proud of being Mexican American, so I had to get this. I had to get Mexican Cocoa Death, seven and a half percent. So dark smooth brew. There you go. 
What's it say? This dark chocolatey beer brings in hints of vanilla, cinnamon, allspice, and pastilla chiles to warm things up as fall sets in. There you go. What else needs to be said? I'm never going to get that one out of there. Oh, here's another one from Listerman. The same one as the Simpsons one. Uh, buy it really... Oh. Buy it really ties the room together. 11%. Imperial Blonde Stout. And of course, another dude reference. From the Big Lebowski. Uh, Numa Coffee Roasters? I don't know if this is a collab. Maybe that's a it's a collaboration, maybe, with Numa. I don't know. Because she's a winner. Damn right she is. Damn right. Um, by the time he gets to the second other box, we'll... But... <laughs> and we okay with it? What a keeper. Damn right. Ha huh? ha. I get notified from Tavor every five seconds and wind up buying a billion of them. Wait, is... Yes, that's wifey, man. Yeah. Fuck. Fuck. That's 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 fuck and wifey. Damn right it is. Oh, the, oh, we got a bigger bottle here. Let's see. Triple chocolate birthday cake, imperial stout with blended chocolate malts, cacao nibs, milk chocolate, and cake mix. Got a lot of cakers in here, a lot of, a lot of cake beers. Do we see a percentage on this? Equ oh, it's from Equilibrium. Equilibrium. Sorry. I don't know if I see a percentage anywhere, but I guess we'll have to find out later. Falk. When stream? Oh, when? When's wifey gonna stream? I need to subscribe to this beer service. Yeah, it's good stuff. Maybe soon for streaming we will we will see. I barely know how to use Twitch. Correct the cliff would probably dig this stream for sure if you did this often. Cool, man. I mean, you know, I'm just trying things out. We'll see how it goes. Okay. I'm gonna have to pull this like whole column out because this beer. Does, sorry about the noise. The because you're probably getting all that. It sounds like static. But this beer just won't come out without me taking this whole freaking cardboard piece out. Oh, it's and it's one I've already pulled out before. <laughs> we already saw this one. Um, we'll put that back there. Stacking them up. Stacking them up. Let us freaking beer. Thank you guys so much for being here. You guys are just incredible. This is just ridiculous. I, I, I didn't know if anyone would be in here. Uh, the Vault Barrel Series. Belgian inspired. 10%. IBU 28. American crafted. Look at that. Taxman Brewing Company. It's a Belgian style quadruple ale. So this one's a little different than what we usually get. I, I'm, I'm assuming wifey got this because it says bourbon barrel um, it, this is yeah this is a Belgian beer which I don't I don't drink too much of but uh, I am I am still excited to try it oh yeah and I had one of these I can't remember if I like this I mean I think I thought... If I remember correctly, I think it was okay. Uh, How Now Brown Cow. Brewed with peanut butter and chocolate. It's a milk stout. 6%. Uh, by Aslin Beer Company. Yeah, if I can't remember if it was this one, but it, that might have been the one I thought was just like, it was okay. It was passable. For me, like that's like a 3 out of 5. But I'm not sure if it was that one. It might have been a different one.
Is that Nola beer? Yes, in Indiana. Oh, did you think that one's from New Orleans? Which one? The peanut butter one? The peanut butter one says Aslan Beer Company, um, Alexandria, Virginia, and Herndon, Virginia. Was it that one or was it a different one? Oh, the Taxman one. Let's see. Uh... Oh, yeah. In, yeah. Bar Bargersville, Indiana. Like, uh, I think. Oh, yeah. You said it. Saints Emblem. Mm -hmm. It looked like it could have been New Orleans style. Uh, this one is by Equilibrium, Middletown, New York. I'll, I'll start paying attention to where these are from. Uh, peanut Cloud. Imperial Stout with peanuts, marshmallows, and lactose. Beer balanced by science. This, when I have this beer, I'm going to be blinded by science. Did we see a percentage on here? Did I miss it? No, no, not allergic to peanuts at all. Quite the opposite. Quite the opposite. Yeah, I don't see a percentage. Unless it's in this, like, tiny-ass text. But I guess, again, I'll have to find out when I, like, check it into untapped. Tio Diablo, I'm off to bed big day tomorrow. I know. I started this late, so... I had to, like, clean up the room a little bit, at least, to, like, make it semi-presentable. Uh, big news. Sorry, yeah, but I enjoy the stream more of these plates. Cool. Yeah, I'll try to do it earlier next time, for sure. Later. Thanks for being here. Good night, good night. So, this is an Imperial Breakfast Stout by Main Mill Brewing. Ten and a half percent. Uh, St. Uh, Main, East Main Street, Festus, Missouri. How close is, uh, I don't think, I don't think, uh, New Orleans is very close to Missouri. All that close. Oh, crack the cliff! Making an appearance! <laughs> Your boy was just saying how, uh, how you would be into a you might be into a stream like this. So I we already we already showed this one off. So to move on to another one. Let's see. This is this is uh this is the ones I've gone through so far showed off already. Okay, we already we already showed this one off as well. But uh, thanks for being here, Cliff. So start over. <laughs> yeah. So going back through all the the two dozen beers we've gone through already. Yes, yes. Pecan pie. If anyone's ever seen when Harry and Sally, pecan pie porter. Uh, that's just my reference, not the beer reference. But backwoods. This is backwoods brewing. Treat yourself to caramel, chocolate, and pecan. Perfectly balanced with a light body that, that's rich but not too sweet, just like Grandma used to make. So, 5.9%. 5, 5 Backwoods Brewing Company in Stevenson, Washington. Let's see. Pecan. Yes. No problem, dude, man. Porters and stuff. Hell yeah. That, that's what I'm all about, man. Porters and or stouts. Oh, damn. Hazelnut Brittle Bar. I haven't tried one of these yet. This sounds super good. Oh, Evil Twin Brewing, New York City. And, oh, it's a collab with uh, Equilibrium. Very cool. 10.5%. Imperial Stout with toasted, toasted hazelnut, caramel, cacao, bourbon, vanilla, and salt. Collaboration. Yep. I gotta get this in the fridge. 
from Queens, New York. Cause she's your queen to be. And, oh, Dragon's Milk Reserve. Uh, I think I've had a version of this before. 11%. I forget what the brewery is called. Dragonsmilk.com. Oh, New Holland. New Holland Brewing. I don't know where they're at. That's a lot to read, so I won't I won't bore you all with reading all that. Bourbon barrel aged stout with chocolate, marshmallow, graham cracker, and natural flavors. It, uh, I don't see where New Holland is. I don't remember where that brewery is at. Another another one from Equilibrium. That seems like some cat friendly packaging. <laughs> Have you ever had the peanut butter milk porter from Gnarly Barley? I don't think so. I don't think I've had that before. That shit sounds delicious. Yep, I was telling him about the NOLA breweries. Maybe we need to send him a care pack. Dude, that would be amazing. Uh, this is, oh, this is Equilibrium. We, we saw that they're a New York one. Cookies and Cream Pop. Imperial Stout with crushed cookies, cake mix, cacao nibs. Madagascar vanilla and lactose. Damn, that sounds like another bomb ass heavy hitter. Again, I don't see a percentage. It doesn't look like Equilibrium post percentages on their stuff. This is another tight one. I'm gonna have to pull again. I'm gonna have to pull the whole thing out here. Sorry about that. The box, the box, I'm talking about the box. I already saw this. Excuse me while I pull this out. Let's see, I'm gonna make this. This is gonna make me question sobriety. <laughs> another, another Listerman Brewing Company beer. Operation Flintlock Peanut Butter. Stout with coffee, vanilla, peanut butter, and lactose, 6%. Where are these at? Cincinnati, Ohio. Because it's high in the middle and round at both ends. Ohio. Alright, that box is done. And this box is smaller, but man, it feels... still feels fairly heavy. Okay. Yep, plop dumps in the house. Fucking Elmo, yeah. <laughs> I love that one. PPDD? Cliff said I never send you the AOTS Elmo scene. Oh, did I ever send you the AOTS? Shit's fucking classic. Yes, so good. It's from a plant, Kevin! It's natural. Because natural means made from nature. It's so awkward, like one handing all this. No jokes. No one handed jokes. I read it in the voice. Uh, my favorite is the pilot landlord. <laughs> Splunther. Hell yeah. Parish Brewing Company. Coffee Reeve Roasters. So this is the brand new box. The The other box I had opened for, this this just came like in the last few days. And I'd been waiting to like stream this so I could show it off, show it off in this way. I'm going to reset my background music there. This is a real janky stream. 
So Paris Brewing Company Coffee, Reeve Roasters, Coffee Stout. What do we got here? Brewing Company, Broussard, Louisiana. Louisiana! Right here, Louisiana, man. We got it. Is that like hella far away from NOLA? It's like, man, that's like, might as well be the other side of the world. This silky smooth coffee stout is crafted with a carefully selected blend of specialty grade estate beans from our from Colombia and Java. Our friends and coffee gods at Reeve have finished them to a finished them to a city full uh, full city roast to highlight the true character of the beans and their origin prior to addition to our stout. Enjoy any time of day. This ale will drink like a delicious cold brewed coffee. Fucking Acadianian motherfuckers. <laughs> I've been there two hours away about. Okay. So not super close. But not super far either. Did I see a percentage? I'm always looking for the percentage and I'm surprised how many of these bottles don't say. But. <clears throat> Ooh. Dodge. Dodge Dunk Dip. Imperial Mint Cookie Stout. Oh yeah, I remember when she was asking me about this one. Imperial Stout brewed with Oreo cookies, cocoa powder, peppermint, and vanilla. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Not everyone's a big fan of mint, but I really like mint. 12%, so heavy hitter. From... Levante Brewing, Westchester, Pennsylvania. Westchester, Pennsylvania. What do we got? We got, we got another, another bottle back here. Yes, exactly. Well, the, and that's why I often only end up drinking one, is because uh, I, you know, a lot of the stouts that I like end up being like heavy hitters like this. Imperial Stout and Barley Wine Ale blend blend aged in bourbon barrels with sesame seeds, smoked sea salt, maple syrup, and cinnamon. Wow, that's quite the combo there. Assembled Armor. Melvin Eureka. The House of Flying Barrels. Melvin Brewing, Eureka, Missouri. I'm like, which Eureka? We got a Eureka here in California, so. Wouldn't have surprised me if it came from there. Yeah, I know, huh? That, that, is, a, that is a crazy model, isn't it? Yeah. That's pretty cool. Alright. Another, oh, uh, this is a... So we already saw one of these, the coffee rit, 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 I don't know how to say that, I'm not French. Stack House, Charlestown Fermentary, Fermentory, Daps Breakfast Imbibe, might be a collab here, brewed with Cocoa Puff cereal, Daps pancakes, maple syrup, and vanilla. That's number four. So they've done this at least three other times. 12%. Brewed and canned at Charlestown Fermentary. Charleston, South Kakalaki. All right. Sometimes I buy because the bottle is purdy. <laughs> I did not know that. This is this is one I have to get into the fridge quick. But we are we're already a fan of these guys. Um, I'm already forgetting the name because I'm not good with names. Uh, but the uh, the Hydra Livingston Company. But there's a there's another name, I think. Mortalis, yeah. Mortalis Brewing Company from, this is New York. 
Passion fruit, mango, and peach. It's called Hydra. We've had this before, 7%. It's very good, very smooth, very thick. Very thick, just the way Gnome Pro likes it. Yeah, yeah, they, they do have um, sick uh, logos on their can, for sure. South Dakota. Veteran-owned business. Coffee cake. Coffee cake. I wish uh, Ari Babel was in here to hear that. She's got the, the strong New York accent going. Uh, you love to hear it. Um, Imperial Stout conditioned on Ugandan vanilla beans. Uh, Corinthia, I don't know how to say that, <laughs> cinnamon, pink, peppercorns, and rum barrel aged coffee, 11% ABV, Sioux Falls, South Dakota. Simple, but slick. Meaning the, the art on the can. Smoothie sour ales. It, it, this is definitely a, a, a you you know anytime you see a smoothie sour ale that's a wifey pick. She she bought that so she could try it. Um, we always share them, of course, but she loves the smoothies. Uh, Peach proof frosé by Magnify Brewing. Mag oh, it's a collab, Magnify and Kings Brewing. Brewed with peach gummy candy, uh, peach, raspberry, vanilla ice cream, and coconut cream. Roll the can. Yeah, some of these cans will tell you to roll it. To because it, there's it'll settle. A lot of times there's sediment. It'll settle, and they want you to get that in your drink. So they tell you to roll it in order to loosen that stuff up. And <laughs> she's on mines. Craft brewed in Fairfield, New Jersey. Uh, this looks like, yep, a duplicate Hydra. Not surprised by that at all. It's just, uh, it's, it, it's just a favorite around here. For sure. Another Evil Twin beer here. Uh, is this the one? No, this is a different one. This looks like another, yeah, Sour Ale with Concord Grape, Blackberry, Strawberry, 6.5%. I'm very grateful for you, and I love you very much. Damn right. When I'm talking to wifey, for sure. So yeah, this looks like, again, another wifey pick. It, yeah, it, same, same. I, I love the, I love sours, I love fruited ales, all that stuff, and, and I got her into them. That's a duplicate, which sounds like a good one to get a duplicate for. They're going to start putting candy edibles. In. They're going to start putting candy edibles in that one day. And that's That sounds dangerous, actually, because, yeah, when both wifey and I have not had good experiences uh, combining... Um, combining... Uh, weed with uh with drinking that, that hasn't been a good time for us um but i like the idea double chocolate milk stout s'mores mind over matter another one by magnify eight percent and we already saw where magnify yeah this jersey jersey I don't know what that accent was supposed to be. That was just me talking to with Oh, we already saw this. This is the mint. That's the mint beer. And I think we got one more. One more. There is only one more. The Brewing Project. Oh, and with Drecker. Okay, we're fans of Drecker. Um, they make great smoothie... Uh, great smoothie uh, beers. Um... Not just fruited ones. I, I had one just the other day that was like chocolate and peanut butter. It was amazing. I gave it a five out of... I gave it a five out of five. Because it was just that damn good. Um, 
a collaboration between the brewing project uh, oh, strawberry blueberry kiwi orange cream cheese frosting and sugar cookies contains no lactose wow given all that was given those ingredients i'm surprised it says no lactose so let's see a scream and uh, evoking tale of terror ghosts of doom it, this is a I, I, I like that you appreciate um, the art on the can, Gnome Pro, because you're making me pay attention to it more, which is good. And and Drecker does a good job with their cans. They they always look wild. Man, I see I want to produce a show with you and Cliff about IPA and stuff. <laughs> I'm not big on IPAs, but, I mean, I'll get in there. I buy beer when I'm hungry. <laughs> the housing project. Please accept our sacrifice of fruit pizza. Fruit pizza sour. Oh, wow. What does this say? Can't quite read all that. Death Valley, secret agents, spies, danger, weird... Hey, There's a lot going on in this can, I'll tell you that. Did I see... Uh, where is Drecker, anyways? Oh, Fargo, North Dakota. Another Dakota. I mean, do we really need two Dakotas? Do we really need two of them? I, did you, anyone see a percentage? I did not see. I'm always trying to note the percentage of these, but I don't think I saw one here. Anyway, that's it. That's, uh, that's my unboxing. That's everything we, we unboxed today. Like I said, I, I unboxed that first box myself earlier. Since I had them, I thought, might as well show them. Um, fuck that roop, that robot looks sick. <laughs> I mean, beers. Baf, Bafmet? Bafmet, I don't know that reference. That's a sick hand. These labels have been kicking ass. And now he's drinking all these beers in one thing. Oh, man. And go. Uh, yeah, no. <laughs> I mean, I... I I, I don't cons consume a lot in the first place, uh, but yeah, like in one sitting, uh, I th I think that would um, I think I would be breaking the Twitch like terms and conditions or whatever. Like you you're you're not supposed to commit any self harm, so <laughs> I think that would fall under that. Like you're not even supposed to get drunk, right? Not supposed to be drunk on stream. Not that you're being serious, but the last beer over the fine print, it's had the satanic god. <laughs> nice yeah it's it's all crazy here anyway but thank you all so much for being here you oh sorry covering up the camera there um i i was just trying this out you know i i, I wasn't even sure if i'd do it again or i wasn't sure if it should be a youtube video or whatever but yeah i just thought i'd just shoot from the hip and just see how it goes Baphomet is like a pagan dude who was chosen by the Gratanic Grooch. If Rooster Teeth was on Twitch, then they were all wasted. <laughs> dude, just like Mass, I bet. Plop Dumps knows. Yep, sounds like he does. I gotta do some research. But again, like, thank, thanks you all. Thank. <laughs> can't even talk. Thank you all for being here. Uh, thanks for watching this unboxing, and I hope I, I hope I made you all thirsty, um, because, I mean, th I mean that's what we want to do, right? Got to gotta stay thirsty, my friends. So, um, maybe I'll do this again in the future. I'll, I'll probably wait until I'm better set up, since you guys were kind of into it. So, um, but I want to, yeah, I want to, I want to make it a little better set up, so I don't have to struggle so much while like. Uh, holding the the phone but <clears throat> if you want to expand this idea I'm more than happy to help me we can do it nice and add some production value to it let's keep it yeah for sure yeah we'll, we'll figure something out but again I like I said I wasn't sure anyone would even show up to this but like you know I just wanted to get it on record basically but I mean you guys are you guys are awesome so I shouldn't be surprised but um, yeah so I'm probably gonna start streaming um, or continue streaming uh, Psychonauts 2 in a few minutes. 
I'll have to like clear all this off and um, get my streaming, my regular streaming setup going so that I can do that. But yeah, so I'll be back on in probably a matter of minutes. But uh, again, good idea gimmick could definitely work it up for sure. Yeah, no, nah, thanks, man. Yeah, I mean, I I'd even like to do it. You know, I'd probably I'd like to do it with like actually, you know face reveal you know with me actually on camera at some point in the future i don't know when that will happen but probably do that soon um another box coming next week hey so yeah we might do this again it probably won't be as long of a video because i had so many this time but yeah might do another one next uh weekend yeah since we have another box coming i gotta get to drinking that's what i need to do because i got so much stuff here um but yeah again one last time, just like, thank you, thank you all for being here, and, uh, yeah, absolutely, we'll, we'll shop talk it, um, and, but yeah, I'm gonna put this stuff away, probably serve myself a drink, and then get back on some Cyclonauts too, and yeah, like you said, like you said, Gnome Pro, maybe, maybe do reviews live, we'll do it live, so, Thanks so much, guys. Have a good one, man. Love the stream. I dig the concept. I'm going to go. Yep. Absolutely, man. Take that nap. I'm not much of a napper, but I know they're important for people. All right. Thanks again. Everybody, take care. Take it easy. And I'll see you soon. Later. <laughs>